Um, all right, we're recording. So, hey everybody, I'm Jillian Kendrick, owner of Inform Marketing Solutions, and I'm a certified partner. And with me today is Doug Sinning. Um, Doug attends my Infusionsoft user group in Orlando, and every time we get together, he always um, is, is sharing with people, oh, I, I connect that through Todoist, and I connect this on my, on my smartwatch with my smart light bulbs, with my smart this and that, and it blows my mind every time we talk that he's always got some amazing new like ninja trick or something else happening with either Infusionsoft or Alexa, Lexi as he calls it, um, and I have recently gotten to the home automation thing by getting an Alexa and by getting a ring doorbell. So I wanted to take a little bit of time uh, to pick his ninja brain and see um, what, what else is out there for automating our homes and our lives. So Doug, thanks so much for taking the time to be with us today. No problem. My pleasure. Awesome. So there's a lot of things that we've talked about um, in our user, <laughs> right in our user group and things that you've mentioned, but um, what would you say for somebody like me who's just starting out with using an Alexa or using home automation? What would you say would be like a fundamental thing to get set up or like a good place to start? Right, you're going to need a hub to begin with. Now, um, Alexa can actually be a hub now. It didn't used to be able to. And so we actually started with smart things, which is by Samsung, because we have Android phones that are also Samsung phones. We have a Samsung TV um, that's, you know, fancy and wired, a wireless connection. And so we went with the smart things hub. And then, so when you have the smart things hub, then you can have it talk to other things in your house. Now the cool thing is, is that that's the sort of the base. And then Alexa, we call her Lexi, so she won't wake up. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Lexi um, is like the voice command. So I kind of treat her like, um, well, in, in the beginning, we used to treat her more like a keyboard. You know, it's the keyboard to enter the commands into the computer, and the computer was the smart things. Mm. And then we started slowly purchasing the different um, light fixtures and um, smart plugs and stuff. And it is cheaper, yeah. by the way, to go with switches web rather than smart light bulbs. Oh, you know, um, okay. you can get Wi-Fi enabled light bulbs. They're more expensive and you have to get all of them. You can get fancier outcomes because you can control them individually, but we're not like all of that. So we just basically have replaced the light switches themselves. So you tear off where the light switch is and you mm -hmm. replace that and it has Wi-Fi built into it, which then will connect to the hub. So yeah. where you want to start is with the hub. And now Alexa can actually operate as a hub as well. Um, we have an older version, but the newer versions have hub built in. Okay. So for someone like me that doesn't know really what the term hub means, is hub like, like a, a, a surge protector with multiple plugs that you would plug all of this stuff into? I'm asking the dumb question because I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Or is, no. is a plug... <laughs> Is a hub like I need a play? I need like a login to put all this software and, and make all these connections. Like, what's a hub? A hub is actually a physical box. So, like our smart things, our Samsung smart things hub is a box. It looks like a router, if you will. Mm -hmm. And so, it's software and heart inside hardware. And it communicates wirelessly with other things in your home. So, it's the CPU, it's the processing center. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. And you're saying that Lexi can possibly be its own hub at this point. Yes. Um, if I think if you have the right version of, of Lexi, um, we still have ours connected to Samsung smart things and we actually have done many things with that. So we'll get into all that, but, um, the other second advice for a new person I would suggest is to go slow. Mm -hmm. 
Um, you don't have to do everything in one day or one weekend. And because it, it can be overwhelming, not only in price, but also in you're having to rewire sockets and, you know, things like that if you go with switches, you know. Um, now, that being said, you can also go the easy way out. And instead of doing light switches, you can actually get plugins that are Wi-Fi enabled too. So you, like if you have a lamp in your bedroom and you want to control the lamp via Lexi, you can just get the box, plug it into the wall and then plug your lamp into the box. And so it's controlled to turn off and on the lamp or dim, you can dim them to some, some of them are dimmable um, through commands, voice okay. commands. That is so cool. You know, about, um, about a year ago or so, I bought this electric plug-in that had another plug-in and you would basically do the same thing. You would plug, you would plug it into the wall and then you would plug in your lamp or what have you. And then a little remote control sits by my bed so that I don't have to get up, uh, you know, when I want to go to sleep and turn off the light. And I thought that was cool. Man, I thought that was like tech savvy, but this is this is next level stuff. So that's yeah, really exciting. You don't even have to lift your head and open your eyes. You just talk to Lexi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. And that's what that's yeah, especially for those of us who own a business and use like Infusionsoft or MailChimp or some kind of automation, like this is that for the home, which is yeah. so cool. Hacks for the home, yes. Totally. What would you say of all of the, of all of the hacks or ninja tricks that you've created, what would you say is the one that you, one or two that you use the most? Um, we turn off and on lights like crazy with Lexi now, but it goes beyond, you know, just saying, you know, kitchen on, kitchen off or kitchen 50%, you know, or whatever. The cool thing is, is that once you have everything rigged up, and you have them being able to control, be controlled, then you can group them into scenes. So you can say, you know, turn on romantic mode and the lights turn down and the music comes on and, you know, we're, we, we just, yeah, serious. The, so, the very white comes on. Yeah, and the, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, and we just put in a three tier fountain. It's made of cement on the porch, the screened in porch. And I actually got a outdoor Wi-Fi enabled Yes. Like power strip that is controlled by Lexi. So the fountain with the lighting on the fountain is all part of that now too. Um, but you know, meditation mode, I'll talk to, to Lexi. I'll say, I'll say, Lexi, let's do dishes. And she'll go on a scale from one to 10, you're an 11. And then all the kitchen lights go to hundred percent and she starts playing upbeat eighties music because that's what I want to hear. When you do dishes. Yeah, I just say, Lexi, let's do dishes. That yeah. Awesome. I love it. It's, I mean, it sounds to me like um, <clears throat> the commands that you give or the things that you call certain things, like you may, you may or may not necessarily say, you know, like um, bedroom light one or bedroom light two or, you know, whatever. It sounds like that is very similar to what we do in Infusionsoft when it comes mm -hmm. to like tag naming conventions. Mm -hmm. If you, if you create a bunch of tags and you don't know what those mean, like, you know, you have a big, a big rat's nest. And the same thing with that. If you plug in a bunch of plugs or you create a bunch of outlets that are smart enabled and you don't name them the right things, mm -hmm. you've got a big mess. So, yeah. um, did you, did you find over time that that was something that you had to work on or rename things or like, how did you do that? Well, I, I read a lot before we began. So I knew we had to, you know, do a naming convention and basically with the lighting, we just named things based on what rooms they were or what areas they were. There's like a floor lamp up front that's in a, one of the plugs. So like, called that floor lamp. Uh, we have foyer, we have entrance, we have kitchen, we have bedroom, we have living room, we have living room fan, we have guest room, you know, it goes on and on and on. But um, the, again, the, the cool thing is grouping them into scenes. So you just say one thing and it goes down a list and fires off a, a series of commands. 
with one sentence or even one word because yeah. you type them in yourself. Mm -hmm. okay. So you, you can name the, the things, but you can also name the scenes. Yeah, that's great. Like, let's do dishes. Let's do dishes. Let's do laundry. I have a light over the laundry uh, area. And uh, so, you know, laundry 70s disco. So is cleaning the house. <laughs> if I say let's clean house, the whole house lights up. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I have a cousin who has connected their Lexi to their Roomba. And so whenever, so, so it'll play like low, low, like upbeat music um, because something else is cleaning the house and they don't have to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have a Roomba, but it's an older version. We're looking forward to getting a newer version that's Wi-Fi enabled just so that we can connect it to Lexi. I'm telling you, we're so lazy. I've also seen they have a, um, they have uh, mopping robots out now too. And we have an all tiled house, uh, porcelain tile. So uh, I want to get one of those too. Wow. Yeah. That is so cool. Um, so besides, you know, the lighting and stuff, um, with the hardware, um, Lexi does a lot of stuff just by herself for those who don't know and don't have one yet. Um, it's surprising how much we use it. And one of the things that we probably use the most besides the lighting is the shopping list. The shopping list is amazing. So have you used that yet? No, what I do for my like grocery list is I, I open up my iPhone and I go to reminders and I have a reminder list called grocery list. And every once in a while I'll say, Hey Siri, add eggs to the grocery list. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Hey Siri, add milk. Blah, blah. But if Lexi can do it. Yeah. Now imagine yourself having breakfast and you just ran out of eggs and you're in the middle of cooking. You don't have to even grab your phone. You just say, hey, Lexi, add eggs to the shopping list. I've added eggs to the shopping list. Done. And mm -hmm. you just keep cooking. So what we found is instead of having to at the at, just before you go grocery shopping, you know how you check the cupboards and you check the fridge to see what you need to buy. We don't do that anymore because as we run out of things, we just tell her and it's already on the list. So whenever we go to the store, you just open your phone and there it is. And the other cool thing is, is that you can have multiple lists. So like we have the grocery list, we have a Home Depot list, we have a Costco list, and you can just tell her which list you want to put it on and she, you know, separates them all out. Now, um, that's awesome. Um, one quick question on that. I was looking through my Lexi app the other day and I noticed that there are a couple different grocery lists. I don't know if they're called apps. I don't know if they're called plugins, but there are a couple different ones for grocery lists. Is there one that you like better than another? You mean under skills? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We it. just use the, we actually just use the, um, the default one that's built in to the uh, uh, Amazon Alexa app. Okay. Okay. That's great. Good to know. Yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of skills there, but we've not, we've not wanted for anything from just using the default one. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. No, that's, that's really good to know too, that there are things that Lexi has that come as default and we don't have to, I don't have to search and say add a grocery list and then search and add other things. Right. Right. Um, I will mention that um, also a lot of people don't know this, but <clears throat> when you go through the app and you're looking for new skills, Lexi comes with the basics, but you add skills in as you want. So you're basically personalizing your Lexi for your home and your needs. So she has her basic functionality, but she doesn't do everything that you hear about until you activate the skill, right? Mm -hmm. And I've never bought a skill. They're all mostly free. You know, I'm sure there's some paid ones, but I've never bought one. I've never had to. Um, there's thousands, thousands and thousands of skills now. But a lot, what a lot of people don't know is you don't even have to go to your phone to find them and look for them. If, especially if somebody tells you about one, you can just say, 
Lexi an able blank skill and she just does it. Oh. So you can just talk to her. Do you have to know the specific name of that skill or could I say, okay, so that's, okay. So that's If you know the name, like if a friend tells you about a specific skill or something, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The other thing that I like, um, I'm just, you know, I'm just things that are popping into my head is um, I'm not a morning person. (laughs) I've tried to be a morning person. It doesn't work. I'm just not a morning person. It's the musician in me. Um, But I get up and I stumble to the kitchen. The lights are off and I say, Lexi, good morning. And she goes, good morning. And the lights in the kitchen come up to 10%, just 10%. And the coffee starts brewing. And then she reads the local news to me. And then she goes into my news briefing. So I hear the world news. I hear the weather forecast. And it's all, that's called your flash briefing, your news flash briefing. And that's a basic skill that comes already installed. But you have to go into the skill itself and choose which bits of news you want to receive. And you put them in order. So I have, you know, some geeky tech stuff in there too. And it's really interesting. There's some good stuff that come up, you know. So I'm sipping my coffee and listening to the news. That's great. Your coffee that somebody else made for you, which is yeah. even, makes it taste better, right? <laughs> well, she, you know, yeah. She turns it on. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, I just thought of something. Now it's, now it's escaping me. Um, do you, so when you set up, for instance, you say, Lexi, good morning, and she triggers what I would consider a campaign, just several different yeah. things that happen at once. Is that something that you set up in that hub? Or is that something that you say, Lexi, if I tell you good morning, I want you to do A, B, C, D, and E. Like, where would you go to do that? You do that in your phone. So if you, if, in fact, if you look right now and yeah. under the um, app, you'll yeah. see one of the choices is scenes. Scenes. It's under the menu, like you hit the hamburger. Mm-hmm. The and hamburger. Then it should, yeah. Then it should say scenes. And that's where you put multiple things in a row. Okay. I might, I guess, I mean, I don't, I don't know if I have scenes because I don't have any of the, the smart stuff like you have, but it should be there somewhere. I'll look at your phone the next time we get together. Okay. Um, but yeah, the next meeting. Um, so, um, but yeah, and then the news briefing is in there too. The news briefing is a skill. You enable it, but then you have to go pick which bits of news you want. Um, there was something else I was going to say. What was it? What about There's... purchasing? I know that you can say, hey, buy toilet paper, right? Love it. Yeah? Love it. Now, a lot of people are afraid of that, but let me put your mind at rest. What you do is you set it up with a PIN number. So you have a four-digit PIN number. So, you know, your grand niece or nephew that comes to visit can't order toys and whatever, you know, (laughs) Uh, so you can say, you know, I'd like to order this and she'll say, I found this on Amazon. This is the price. Would you like to order it? And if you say yes, she'll say, what's your pin? And you speak the pin and then she places the order. And if you have prime, of course, it's at your door in two days. We like that. The other part of that is that I've noticed that if you order through Lexi, sometimes the prices are cheaper than if they are on Amazon on your computer looking at it. I think they're doing that to encourage people to use it to order. They actually give you a bit of a discount on some things. Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there any difference? You may or may not know, but, um, and I don't want this to turn into like a big product feature thing, but is there any difference between the Lexi that's like, a tiny one that kind of looks like a hockey puck versus the one that I have is like the round screen versus the one that's really tall. It's a great question. And the answer to that is no. The the smarts of Lexi actually lives in the cloud. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so your device is just a interface 
for Alexa in the cloud. Um, if you do not have an internet connection, she does not work. Mm. Okay. So if the electricity goes off, obviously she's not going to work. But if you have electricity and no internet, she's not going to work either. Okay. She just goes, you know, but I'm sorry, I'm having problems connecting. You know, she gets <laughs> stupid real fast. Okay. Um, so yeah. And here's the difference. The, the the hockey puck one, which is called the dot. Okay. We actually have two of those. Mm -hmm. And then we have the tall one, which was like the original one. Um, and the difference between those two is just that the tall one has a really awesome speaker built into it. So it's got really good stereo sound, really loud for what it is. I mean, as a musician, I can say that it's, it's really a good speaker. I'm very impressed by that speaker. The dots, not so much. That's like a transistor radio speaker, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, but it's audible. It's very, you can still hear it. Yeah. The cool thing is, is that we have the main one in the main area of the house and then the small ones in the bedrooms as satellites and they can all be controlled separately, right? Mm -hmm. There's two cool things that you can do if you have more than one, okay? And the first thing is you can say play music everywhere. And what happens is the songs that you're listening to, they actually sync up perfectly. There's no time delay or echoing. They're perfectly in sync and you're hearing the same song everywhere in your whole house, which is really, really cool. Yeah. And the second thing is with Lexi, you can, you can call the other speakers and use it like an intercom system. And that's called dropping in. So I'll say, yeah. Lexi, drop in on guest room. And I might be in my bedroom, which is on the other side of the house. Mm -hmm. And it'll go beep, beep. Yeah. And there's an audible tone. And then and you're instantly connected and you can talk to each other. And then you tell it to hang up and it quits. So my husband and I don't have to yell at each other across the house anymore. Exactly. Lexi and is is saving marriages. Who knew? Yes. <laughs> and if you if you approve it, if you decide to allow it, you can let your family and your friends have access to drop in on you as well. Your friends from anywhere in the world. So your mother who lives in a different state could say, you know drop in on Jillian and you'll hear this beep beep and then your mom's voice will start talking, you know, and it's intercom, but from a different state and it's that fast. Now also you can use her to call phones. That's that. I think that's what I'll show you with this one. I don't necessarily know that it does voice calls, but I said the other day, I was like, Alexa, call Mike, call my husband. And it looked almost like a uh, FaceTime on the iPhone. It looked very similar to that. And I was, sh I was shocked that it could do that. Yeah. Because um, the app is on your phone and you gave, you have to give it permission to access your contacts on your phone. It learns your contacts and then it'll, if you say a person's name, it searches through your contacts real quick and says this person and you say yes and boom, off it goes. But it can actually dial phones, but you have to give it permission to do that. Okay. You know, a lot, everything is pretty much shut off until you give it permission. If you give it permission to do it, then you can do it. Um, but I've used it many times to call people, you know, that are in my contacts. It works great. Um, mm -hmm. I also drop in on my cousin all the time who we gave one to, for, to her for Christmas. Um, she loves it. Um, and, um, um, you know, it also can send text messages too, but it, I'm telling you it, the list just goes on and on and on. Yeah. Well, that was going to be my next question to kind of transition away from the home stuff and into a little bit more business stuff. Mm -hmm. I know that when we talk, you've done things with, um, chat bots or, or chat messengers 
on your website that will ping your phone that would mm-hmm. work with like if this then that or Todoist or Infusionsoft mm-hmm. or Trello or other things. So um, talk a little bit about that and if anything works with Lexi. If it doesn't work with Lexi, I'm still curious about it. Yeah, I, I try to make things tie together as much as possible. And of course, if this, then that, ifttt.com is amazing. It blew my mind when I discovered it. And it's only getting more and more powerful every day with many, many more integrations happening. And it's free. That's the part that blows my mind. It's free. Um, so you can take... Um, different services that are online, including Lexi um, and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and you can have them talk to each other. So one of the the ways I explain if this and that to people that don't know about it is if you upgrade, if you have a Twitter and you have a Facebook and you up date your Facebook profile photo, you can have if this then that automatically update your Twitter profile photo without you having to do anything. That's just one example. So you're taking two services that have nothing to do with each other. And if this, then that is the middleman that talks between them. It's called an API integration. Mm -hmm. Um, One of the things, and I don't know if I've told you this yet, Jillian, at our Infusionsoft meetup yet or not. One of the things that I figured out that I was determined to figure out, and I did figure out, was um, I figured out how to use Infusionsoft to when somebody had a birthday or when somebody signed up for my music lessons, I have different campaigns that shoot off uh, messages and using a combination of things, bing, into Facebook and Twitter, they go, congratulations for signing up for music lessons. And this is coming from Infusionsoft. Wow. So what I did is, um, the way the workaround I figured out is, Infusionsoft shoots an email to the person directly, but then it also shoots a email to a dummy Gmail address. And the dummy Gmail address is only for this use. Mm -hmm. And if this, then that is scanning that dummy email address for incoming email emails. And the subject heading is where the message is. It's not in the body. It's in the subject heading. And if this, then that picks up the message, then shoots it over to Twitter and shoots it over to Facebook and automated social media posts that are personalized based on who signed up, what they signed up for, voice or piano, for example, or, or whatever. And I didn't lift a finger. It just does it. That's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That's yeah. so awesome. I know like, for instance, uh, I recommend Zap, uh, Zapier because Zapier is very fluent in Infusionsoft and talks to a lot of other things. Um, but a lot of people are hesitant to get involved with Zapier. So they'll start off with like a free account, for instance. But the free account and some of the lower level accounts, to my understanding, you have to wait 15 minutes for any of that automation to kick off. Um, mm-hmm. Does if this, then that have something like that or does it happen automatically and it's still free? Uh, it happens pretty quickly and it's free. Um, I know Zapier works too. I, I have, uh, I've had a free account until recently and I went ahead and got a paid account. Mm-hmm. But um, you have to pay, I think, to use Infusionsoft with Zapier. Mm-hmm. Um, it's one of the premium uh, social plugins. Well, it's one of the premium, what do they call it? Channels. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. uh, but uh, it's, it's, when you're doing this stuff, you know, it's uh, like I always say, um, it's my minions working for me, you know, so I don't have to do it. And it, it, it just takes so much off my plate when you automate. Mm-hmm. Hey, that rhymed. Yeah, use that. So much off my plate when you automate. <laughs> I love it. I, uh, I was talk- chatting with a client today and I was like, 
let us clear our minds, let us clear our, let us like cleanse our minds, cleanse our bodies and cleanse our campaigns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> laugh so hard. It was wonderful. We had a good moment. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Oh, that's so cool. So what else, like what other things can, are, what other ninja techie awesome things are you doing with, with automation? Well, I know that you guys got a chuckle out of the fact that every time somebody buys one of my courses, <laughs> it sends me a little notification to my phone and it plays a little money jingle. <laughs> a little, money? little ka-ching goes off. Oh, the yeah. ka-ching. That's right. Yeah. That's so, I love that. It's the little things in life, you know? Uh, so yeah, I play too. I, it's not all business. I mean, you got to put some joy in your life and, mm -hmm. and you can automate that too. <laughs> can automate happiness. <laughs> oh, I love it. No, that's so cool. Um, uh, if someone is first getting started with if this, then that, and I'm definitely in that boat, what would be something that you would guide them towards or, or maybe forewarn them about? Cause they can similar to Infusionsoft or similar to Alexa or make sure she's not talking to me. Uh, Lexi. So, Really, Lexi, that's right. That's right. I'll have to get used to this. Um, similar to all of that, it's, it can be a rat's nest. It can be really overwhelming to start. It can be easy to like, think you have to do all of this stuff because it's capable of that, but you know, start small and start smart. So what, what would be your suggestion for somebody just starting out with if this and that? Just like Infusionsoft, when we're planning a campaign, it's best to get a piece of paper and sit down and sketch it out. What do you want to happen? And if you can draw it on a piece of paper, you're visualizing it. And once you visualize it, then you can go back and, you know, make it happen. I will make uh, this point to say this, if this then that is really easy to use, they, they basically hold you by the hand and walk you through it. There is no programming. So you're like listening to these buzzwords, API, integration, automation. It's literally, what do you want to happen? Click. And when do you want it to happen? Click. And what do you want it to talk to? Click. I mean, it's just clicking. It's very simple. And that's why if this, then that is so powerful because all of the programming is in the background and you never see it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it's not like you have to know code or anything like that. So don't get stressed out, <laughs> <laughs> right. but yeah, start with a piece of paper and write down what do you want to happen? So for example, maybe you want that Facebook profile picture to show up on Twitter. Okay. So you say, okay, here's FB and here's TW. And if this, then that is in the middle. So then you go in and you, there's a search box and you search, you know, Facebook profile and it's going to show you pre-made recipes. They used to be called recipes. I don't know if they still call them that. Um, uh, and that one's there. That one's there like 40 times, I think, that different people have made the same thing over and over. Yeah. Um, so you just literally click on it and turn it on and you connect your Facebook and you connect your Twitter and you're done and it just works. Right. So don't stress over it. Just get a piece of paper, write down what you want to automate, you know, make a list of all the different things that you can think of. I wonder if this works if, if, if I can make that go over there, you know, it's fun. It's like, you know, weaving a web, you know, yeah. and uh, if you can dream it, you can make it happen. Now, sometimes there's an extra step like that whole infusion soft to Gmail to if this, then that to Facebook and Twitter, but I figured it out. I just had to put an extra step in between. Ah, got it. Okay. That's awesome. And for, for anyone who either uses Infusionsoft or, or like business owners, especially, because we've done a lot of talking about how to automate our homes, but for business owners, um, are there any if this, then that recipes that you like couldn't live without or, or that you'd recommend for newbies? I have no memory. You know this, Jillian. Oh. I'm going to I'm gonna have to pull up my account and look inside and see what I can talk about. Right, right. Uh, just give me a hot second here. Yeah, no, take your time. And what I really appreciate you um, taking the time to chat with me and your willingness to share with everybody. So 
yeah, thank you again. This is really great. This is just a testament that it is set it and forget it too, right? <laughs> really forget it. Yeah. Okay. I said recipes. They're no longer called recipes. They're now called applets. Okay. Oh, applets. Okay. Oh, okay. I know what uh, first thing I can talk about is um, you were impressed by this when I brought that in that one meeting. I, I have programmed. Okay. So <laughs> who has time to sit and look at Twitter all day? scanning Twitter for potential clients. Nobody, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody. But they're out there, right? So it's called social listening. You listen to a, you, the social media, you know, so places that you can chime in. Mm -hmm. So I figured out that in, if this, then that, you can have it listen to Twitter. It's constantly scanning Twitter for specific strings or sentences, okay? Or keywords, right? Phrases, okay. Or phrases, right? So um, because I am a musician, um, I put in, for example, I need piano lessons. I want piano lessons. I would like piano lessons. I need to buy a piano. I want to learn to sing, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So all of those are individual applets. So I spent a whole day creating tons of searches on Twitter. So these searches are constantly running, constantly running. Mm -hmm. And what happens is because if this, then that lives on your phone, one of the things that you can access it through the computer website browser, or you can access it on your phone or your tablet, it's everywhere. But what you can do is you can have it find a string and when it finds a string, ping, it sends a notification to your phone. So I literally go, oh, there's a hit. I tap it, it opens up in this, if this, then that, and I read it. And if it's pertinent, because sometimes there are false positives, right? Okay. Um, if I read it and 95% of them are correct, you know, um, not the other way around. It's, it's pretty accurate because of my phrases that I typed in. Um, <laughs> then all I have to do is tap it one more time. It automatically opens up Twitter, takes me straight to that person's post. I like it and I hit respond, mm -hmm. and I have saved in my phone pre-typed responses with links yes. to my website, and I just go <laughs> click, done. So I just found a person, liked their post, responded to their post, and it literally, in my time frame, took me 10 seconds. And something that I really love about that is, if I'm just guessing that if you really wanted to, you could probably automate that response piece too. But and and you know that that exists, and you're obviously an automation lover, like you you know automation ninja with what you're doing with Lexi and what you're doing with this if this then that. But I think it really speaks to the quality of who you are representing yourself as on social media and representing your business and that mm. you, you really want to vet that conversation that's happening on social media. Absolutely. Not, not just say, Hey, if this, then that, you know, throw this spaghetti at the wall and let's see if something sticks. Cause right. I right. I wanted but, to give them more of a personalized white glove treatment and 50% of them. I use the pre typed response as is the other 50%, I would say, I paste it there and then I edit it mm. and add or take away to yeah. make it more precise. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't take but 10, 15 seconds, you know. The point of the whole thing is, is that I'm not sitting there all day watching Twitter, right? It's finding these potential clients and leads for me automatically. That's amazing. And I, yeah, I really love the fact that you could automate that other side of that, but the fact that you want to represent yourself well on social media, you want to have that white glove experience, you know that it's possible to automate it, but you're choosing not to because you want that customer experience. And I, mm -hmm. I really, I stress that a lot to clients of mine that, you know, 
uh, and, and it goes for the home too. Like we could have every single light bulb in the mm-hmm. house. Sure. Uh, have a smart bulb, but we don't necessarily need that or have to have that. Same thing with Infusionsoft clients and business owners. You could automate every single piece of your business. You could do this, that, and whatever, but it's all about what you want the customer experience to be. And I really mm-hmm. like, I really appreciate that. You know, you're doing all of this other automation, but that piece is really, really important to you. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, you gotta, you gotta keep the hum- humanity in there somehow. Although I will say, I just saw a video from Google uh, with their voice assistant, and it's now making. Did you see that video? I didn't, but I saw I saw a Google like a Google chat thread where somebody pasted in. Um, audio clips of them making phone calls that sounded like a real life person and it blew my mind. Yeah. Like they had a couple, three months ago or something, they had a, like a, a public event and they were demonstrating the AI behind the Google products that they're finally bringing it all together. And it's going to be that little like Lexi, but it's the Google home. Mm -hmm. Um, And it'll probably work on your phone too, but you'll just talk to your Google assistant or your Alexa assistant because you know they're going to be right on their heels. Mm -hmm. All of them are going to have it. Um, But you can tell your assistant, you know, hey, what they did is they said, hey, I'd like a a haircut on Wednesday between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. And they said, okay. And then in the background, without you even hearing anything, the device calls this hair salon, talks to a real person, responds back and forth. It sounded exactly like a real woman. The the machine even went, mm-hmm, just yeah. like that. I mean, you yeah. saw this. Mm-hmm. It blew my mind. It blew my mind. It's amazing. So that's not released yet, but that's literally it's coming. a year away if, you know, to be in in our consumer's hands. Amazing. I don't think that uh, society is truly prepared for the automation that's coming, and especially the robots. Yeah. 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 And I will be the one that will buy Rosie. I'll be having Rosie <laughs> model at 001. I'm that crazy person that will buy the first one. You want to, you're the, you'll have the Jetsons household before That's you right. know it. Rosie from the Jetsons. Uh, I love if, it. As long as it can, uh, you know, clean the floors, do the laundry, do the dishes. They can talk to Lexi and play music and have a good old time. It gives me more time to work. (laughs) Oh, that's amazing. Doug, thank you so, so much for your time and your expertise tonight. I got a ton of value out of this. I hope other people who watch this or watch the replay will as well. Um, Thank you so, so much. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for asking me. It was fun. Yeah, this was great. Awesome.